Ya. Como si fuera en la iglesia al respecto, si pueden apagar sus celulares o trata de no hacer tanto movimiento. Ah, yo, yo sé que pues, lo que pasó en el campo la vamos a dejar así. Ah, la liga cristiana, pues, es eso, la liga cristiana. Ah, la dejamos ahí, sí, peleamos. Ah, no, es tan, no es tanto de... de, 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 de pues, aquí no hace nada, aquí no hace sí, más de cosas. Pero lo que nosotros queremos es dejarlo ahí y ahí está. So, voy a entrar a esta predicación. Um, este tema que yo quería dar era... Alright, so that's as much as I try to do it in Spanish. Uh, English is called the Pope for the sincere uh, hypocrites. And the last is uh, my... Uh, theme today is hypocrisy. What, what, what to be a hypocrite? What does that mean? Have any, have any of us been a hypocrite before? I know I have plenty of times. Uh, to, uh, to be a hypocrite, that's to say that you do something uh, or say that you believe in something and you don't actually live it out. Uh, sometimes there's different kinds of hypocrisy. I know, um, how many of us know that, uh, how many of you guys think that uh, presidents, they never lie, they, they never become hypocrites, they never take anything back. There's one, alright. in any other kind of way. Uh, for us, going to church. How many of you guys go to church? You guys go to church? Do you? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, for us, we, we've actually uh, seen it in God's Word how Jesus, He cares for the hypocrites. The whole reason uh, being a hypocrite is to put on a mask. Sometimes we put on a mask in our own cells, in our own homes, with our friends or something. Uh, many of us, we, we told a little white lie. If someone says, hey, do I look fat in this? There's, there's actually like no way to say it. And yeah, you want to be honest, but you don't. And then you're, if you're honest, you still get mad. Or hey, um, I try to be a hypocrite by showing up things that uh, that are not really that valuable, but they look expensive. Like, uh, oh man, I have this watch. It's a Rolex, but really it, it, it's like a fake one. And you try to make people to assume you're something more than you're not. Well, this is the story of uh, what of what Jesus uh, talked about. He he came here to give hope for the hypocrites. Many in uh, in the Bible they give an example of a hypocrite. Uh, there was a story of uh, of Peter, one of the disciples of Jesus. He said to Jesus, Jesus, man, Jesus, I love you. Wherever you go, I'll die for you. Wherever you, uh, wherever you, whoever goes up against you, I'll protect you. And that's what he said to Jesus. And Jesus, knowing uh, knowing what what is going to happen, he told him his future. He said, Peter. Before the crow, before the rooster uh, flocks uh, three times, you uh, you shall um, betray me. And it showed that when uh, Jesus was being arrested, you know what? Peter stood up at that moment. He's like, "Bring it on! Uh, I tell, uh, I, I got you, I got your back, Jesus." He brings out a sword. He cuts off someone's ear, and he uh, he did that right in front of Jesus. And for Jesus, he says, "What am I doing? Am I leading a rebellion?" Uh, for Jesus, I, lo I love the example of Jesus. No matter in, in the worst case scenarios, He always knew how to keep us calm. And that, that's uh, for us today. With Jesus, He, he, he uh, told Peter to put away His uh, put away his sword. Even though uh, Peter, in front of everybody, that's what He wanted to uh, protect him. But then later on, Jesus gets arrested. And Jesus is by Himself. And Jesus has none of His uh, friends around Him. And he is beaten. And, and he is dragged across the city so people can see. And who's in that crowd? That's Peter. Man, they were beating up Jesus so bad. They started to say, Peter, you're, you're Peter. You're, you're Jesus' friend, aren't you? Well, the Bible said that uh, Peter said, I don't know him. I don't know him. He started to, uh, he, they started first to say, yeah, you know him. You're his friend. The Bible says that he started to turn to cursing and to cussing. And then the only censored version that we get from the Bible is, I tell you, I don't know him with all this, all of his uh, voice, with anger. So I would say, a person, Peter, was willing to, to go up and, 
and drive with Jesus when everyone's around. But that was getting that moment. No one's around with, with fear. No one's around with fear. A lot of us go to church, we play this hypocrisy. Many of us uh, we go to church, we bring our Bible. You guys, you guys have a Bible? When we go to church, we always, we never read it during the weekend. But on Sunday, Sunday morning, we bring it to us and we always go to church like that. Many of us have been, uh, been hypocrites and everything. I know my dad, he told me one time, I'll never forget. He had, he had a beer in his hand and says, Son, I better not catch you drinking. While well, he was drinking, he told me. Many of us have had that moment where we don't really, uh, we don't really uh, go through what we say. We say, listen to my words, but don't follow my actions. I tell you, your actions speak louder than words. Your actions speak so loud that I can't even hear what you're saying. Uh, for, for, uh, for us, man, if people from the Bible found themselves being hypocrite, what about you and me? What about us who uh, who are, are not who weren't like disciples of Jesus? Is there hope for us? Is there hope for you? Is there hope for me? Well, the Bible uh, gave us many examples of people who uh, say one thing and left another. The story of Peter, he he betrayed uh, he betrayed Jesus, Jesus, and he felt real bad up to the point where he didn't even want to live. But for Jesus, even though he was left at his, alone by his friends, even though there was no one else around, Jesus still, still learned to forgive. That's what I love about Jesus. Through all things, man, he gives us an example of how to live. Jesus doesn't say, walk this way, and he doesn't give us an example of how to walk. Jesus is our own example. I tell you, there is nothing, there is no hope for someone who, uh, who constantly just does bad and, uh, and just looks just good. You know, for a person who preaches, like for me, if I get, uh, if I don't follow what I'm preaching, how does that look? If I tell you, Marco, don't drink, and I drink, oh, uh, Peter, don't go out, I go out, and I smoke. <laughs> what, what good is it? You know what? Uh, the world wants, wants, wants to see history. As much as we love to see heroes, we love to see them fall. We want, we want them to, to show that they're human just like us, that they're just as sick as us. But I tell you, one person who came to this one and overcome this, he, uh, his name was Jesus. This message right here is just a reflection. For those hypocrites in the Bible, you know what? Well, we've all been hypocrites at one time. And Jesus came first and foremost to preach to the hypocrites. And I tell you, uh, many of us, we've all played the hypocrites. Hypocrite. I know I have. I know all of us have. But you know what? There's even hope for us. For the Bible says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But those who trust in the Lord, the, the, you know what God does? He listens to our heart. He doesn't look at our, uh, our actions so much. You know, you can be thinking of a complete sinner, but if you know that you're worth it, that you're completely a sinner, that you can turn around, God can help us. The only thing that stops us is our head to get too uh, big in our ego. Sometimes it's easier to just live with guilt. right here, for every single one of us who've been a hypocrite, and I know all of us have, I know I have for sure, for us, there's still hope, don't think you're too far gone, don't ever think that, you know what, I, I disobeyed God too many times, there's no hope for me, for the Bible says that, to him who overcomes, he shall grant the kingdom of God, you know what, this is, uh, this is all just our hands to pray. And the, and the preaching right here. I just want if, if you're struggling with uh, struggling with the, this method, and you know, man, this this method is completely for me. I want you, you guys to pray with me. I want all of us to to uh, just pray with me. I, I, I'm gonna just say a prayer for all of us, and once I finish, we can all go. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, God, Lord, for another day, God. Lord, I pray, Heavenly Father, that you help us, Heavenly Father, because, Heavenly Father, this is what you came to do, God. Lord, you are our example, Heavenly Father. We look towards you, Heavenly Father. There's no one example, Heavenly Father, that you have not given us that we can't follow, God. Lord, 
God, help us, God, because you know, bless God if you're struggling with this time. This life is just a constant struggle of what my flesh wants to do and what my spirit wants to do, God. Help us, God, to live for you, Heavenly Father. Help us not, Heavenly Father, live for others, God. For all the things of this world are just vanity, God. All things will be disappeared and nothing shall last, Heavenly Father. Accept you and your word. Lord, help us to focus on the focus on things that are eternal, God. Help us to focus on the things that actually bring value to the first things that just rust away and perish after a while. Everything perishes, God. Lord, I pray that you help us and I want in this day I put my hand uh, I put your hands uh, all around us to protect us. In the name of Jesus, we all Amen. Amen. You guys are pretty good.